Hey Floss Tube, Ashley here, Boogie Stitcher on YouTube, Shlizum underscore Boogie Stitcher on Instagram, coming to you guys with another unboxing. This one is from One Day Saving, and we have three things to show you. Um, I have two cross stitch patterns and one accessory, so let's go ahead and dive right in. Um, I've taken most of the things out of the package because the youngest is almost asleep, so let's go ahead and just get started. Uh, first things first is we have Gryffindor. So I really love Ravenclaw and I saw this one and I think I'm probably eventually gonna get the rest of the series. <laughs> so there's Gryffindor and then there's also, um, let's see, Hufflepuff and Slytherin. All right, so I plan on getting all of them, including the Slytherin one, even though Slytherin is my least favorite house. But um, I just loved the other one so much that I decided that I just need all of these. So there's the pattern. Here is the pattern. So it's another 50 by 50. I'm going to assume that all of these are 50 by 50s. Not positive, but I'm, that's just kind of what I'm assuming. This one has 23 colors. So we have the key card, the symbol on the key card, the DMC equivalent, and the color in which you should be stitching. Um, some instructions. Oh, these colors are so colorful. No beaking. All right, it looks like we got, oh good, we got the good needles. I absolutely love these needles. You can't get enough of them. They have a really big eye. They're super great for 11 count. Makes stitching really smooth. Oh, and the stamping on this one is so nice. Just like the Ravenclaw. Super, super nice. Big margins. Oh, gosh. So what's stopping you from starting this one <laughs> and Ravenclaw at the same time? No. I'm gonna try and finish Ravenclaw before starting Gryffindor. I'm gonna try. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, but here, the stamping is super nice. Very bright. You can see, here's the Christmas tree, and then Gryffindor. Um, like, what is that? Let me find the pattern. Oh, it's a chandelier. That's like a chandelier. Um, the Gryffindor logo. And here's the fireplace. So, super cool. I'm super excited about all of these. All right, and let's see the beautiful, bright, vivid Christmas colors. Ta-da, look at that. We got like, um, a, like a purplish maroon color like all the colors of the rainbow, rainbow, which is super cool. Some creams for the wall, turn it around. We got a little bit of 939 it looks like, but I'm super excited for these colors. And super soft too. All right, that's it for the first unboxing. Second one, my daughter saw this and really wanted this one. So this one doesn't have a very good pattern picture, so I'll insert a picture right here. This one is a little sea turtle. It's pretty blurry, but you know, whatever. <laughs> it's a pretty small pattern. It's 150 by 105-ish, but it's not full coverage, so it's gonna be a pretty quick stitch. And this one has 26 colors. So again, oh look at the other side. It's got the <laughs> He's waking up. Uh, it's got the key code, the symbol on the pattern, the DMC number and the uh, color that you'll be stitching. Thanks, Sissy comes with a little package, a puff ball, a thimble, gold tip needles, which I'm not a fan of, and the needle threader, I'm um, a little black bag. And 
this one is searched and oh oh this one's gonna be so cute my daughter's out here watching this one and doing some crafts to see look look how tiny it is this is your turtle all right so here is the turtle here's my hand so this is tiny compared to like all my full coverage projects <laughs> um but yeah super excited about this one it's gonna be super cute this will be probably a finish this year because this one is tiny it does look like it has a fair bit of confetti though but that's probably because of the watercolor feel to it but uh looks like the stamping is pretty good let's see It doesn't look like it has any like similar colors. So that's good. Or like symbols, I mean. I'm sorry. Sim similar symbols. So I think the most similar is going to be like this um, pink and orange that are kind of right next to each other. Let's see. There go. There's pink and orange. But as long as you do it. Um, in daylight um, or with a good light or you just go slow and pay attention you'll be able to figure that out um, really good margins again really nice soft fabric um, this fabric feels like the Ravenclaw one so this is going to be a dream to stitch on um, the DMC key isn't stamped quite as dark as I like it and it looks better on camera than in person but no all this looks really good it's very Heavy confetti, but again, that's just the pattern. Oh, and both of these are 11 count stamped kits. All right, and let's look at these pretty colors. Look, sissy. I know. <laughs> She's like, oh. Um, he has all the pretty colors. Super pretty. Perfect for a little sea turtle. Like I said, my daughter has claimed this one for her room. <laughs> so I'll have to stitch it for her. All right, that's it for the stamp because now I did get an accessory. So I was a little hesitant about this one, but I figured if I was thinking about it, other people were. So I wanted to get this clip embroidery frame. Um, this is how the package came. I didn't open it. Um, it did come a little bit um, opened. Um, but this is actually fairly heavy, like, frame, so I think the pink pieces might be, um, maybe weighted, or, I don't know, maybe just all the PVC pieces are heavy, but we're gonna put it together and see what it's about. So we got one, two, it doesn't look like it comes with any instructions, so I'm gonna be kind of winging it. Let's see. I'm gonna get everything out of the package and see how many of each thing I have. All right, so we got two larges, four regulars, and two smalls. And then we have a bunch of pieces. They are kind of dusty. They got like a white dust on them, so they might need kind of wa wiped off before using. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that pretty dusty right there see that it's like white dust yeah um so these came like this they're already kind of connected but they easily disconnect so i'm assuming those two go together at some point and there's two of them so that must be the bottom of the frame like this that's what i'm guessing um Let's see. I gotta look at the picture here. All right, so the long ones it looks like are the legs. I'm just looking at this little picture to try and figure it out. And I'm gonna pause and get some water, hold on. I wish this came with instructions. This really shows how terrible I am at putting furniture together. <laughs> okay, there's that. There's and you guys can't even see what I'm doing because it's the camera. Okay, uh, so here's what we got so far. I'm assuming this can go kind of either way. 
and we have two elbow joints, the last two pieces. We're almost done. We're almost done, everybody. All right. There we go. Hey, we're doing it, hooray. <laughs> and there's that one. Okay, we did it. Okay, so this can go two ways, I'm assuming. It can go this way. So I'm stitching on this piece right here, or this could be the lap and I could stitch on this big piece right here. This is way too big for me, so I'm gonna do the lap and stitch on this way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attempt to use this um, and then I might try and use it in a stitch with me on my... Oh, All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attempt to put um, fabric on here and stitch on a little bit so that way I can give like a really good review and then I will talk about it in my next stitch with me. Um, and I'll try it this way and this way, but I'm pretty sure this is the only way I'm going to be able to do it because I can't stitch on something this big. It's, it's too much for my brain. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and wipe it down. If you end up getting something like this, wipe it down because it's, it's pretty dirty. Um, but other than that, it seems pretty solid. Honestly, it's pretty heavy um, compared to, like, my homemade PVC pipe ones. And it seems like it's going to fit on my lap pretty good on the couch, which is cool. Um, and I'll try it with my stitch with me and I stitch with me and see how I like it. So thank you all so much for joining me for this one day saving unboxing. I really appreciate it. And thank you one day saving for sending me these products to review for you. If you guys have any um, questions or comments, uh, check out the description box and leave a comment if you would like or have any questions or just want to say hello. And I will see you guys next time. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, everybody, so here is the frame. I finally got it on and everything. Um, let me see if I can oops, zoom out a little. There we go. So uh, this frame is great, actually. Um, I'm just about to try stitching on it, so then I'll be able to have uh, an actual review on the stitching part. Um, but yeah, uh, these side clips are a little bit hard to get on and off, so I would recommend putting a piece of felt or a thin piece of fabric in between, or have a big enough pattern where you can uh, pull the fabric and pop it off. Um, I noticed that this bottom piece right here is really hard to get on, so I found that a big paper clip is a little bit easier to just hold the tension on there, and it seems to hold it just fine. See, you can, you can hear the tension and the tightness. I love um, having tight fabric like this. Um, you know, I can have it like this or I can have it the other way to have a bigger frame, but I prefer not to have too big of a frame. Um, if I had this on my lap, I'd probably, um, it looks like it would be comfortable to stitch on, um, but I haven't tried that yet. So yeah, I'm really liking this frame so far, um, but I'm about to st uh, film a stitch with me, um, but that's in a different video um, that is for the unboxing video of this pattern. <laughs> so uh, yeah, thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a fabulous day and take care. Bye.